good morning all today we will be discussing the new topic that is arches so what are arches arches you must have all seen the curved um, type of beam that has been in your corridors or uh, some people have in their verandas so that type of curved type of structure you know an arch so arch can be used to reduce the bending moment in long span structure so when you are talking about the arches we will be seeing how it reduces the bending moment and by how much it reduces the bending moment that we will be seeing with the help of an equation okay now first of all you need to know the uh, basics behind the arches so arches basically uh, is used to reduce the bending moment in long span structure essentially an arch acts as an inverted cable okay so it is like an inverted cable so it receives its load mainly in compression although because of its rigidity so how you, it is gets all the load in compression yeah, through uh, when you are loading this structure this type of structure so how the loading comes in that so it is mainly the compression loading that will be discussed using an equation uh, this is the basic introduction behind it and all these equations uh, or the uh, statement will be verified using the equation of an arch and you will be deriving and analyzing the different types of arches okay so it also resists some bending and shear bending on how it is loaded and shaped so how it will be reducing the shear when it is being loaded that will be also discussed using a Uh, equation when you will be talking about the three hinge arch or a two hinge arch so and types of arches will be discussed when an arch is subjected to the uniformly distributed load vertical load then only compression forces will be resisted by the arch so only the compressive forces will be resisted by the arch no tensile loading will be resisted under these condition the arch shape is called funicular arch because no bending or shear force occurs with so there is no bending or shear force occurs within that arch when you are talking about the funicular arch so under these condition the arch shape is like a funicular arch because this type of shape okay this type of shape because no bending or shear force occurs in that type of shape. in this case these two points are known as the abutments which are acting like a support here and the The rise of this structure is known as the central line rise, and the topmost point of in this structure is known as the crown. Okay, and outer part is known as the or rear of that back part is known as the extra dose, or you know, or towards this side or soft bit you can say um, the uh, front face of that part is known as intra dose. Okay, and this line is known as spring line. so these are the basics uh, that you must know about the arch what are abutments what are extra doors what are intra doors crown rise when you are dealing with the arch so comparison between a cable and a an arch so cable is a tension member when you are talking about the cables you must have seen the cables in the suspension bridges mm-hmm. so bridges that is carrying the cables they are having only tensile forces okay so cable is a tensile me- tension member and when you are talking about the, the arch generally the arch is a compression so arches will resist the compression <clears throat> okay so the cable is flexible member whereas arch is a rigid and it changes its shape with different types of position of load when uh, the different types of loading acting in a cable so it will change its shape within that and and it does not change the shape are because it is a rigid structure it cannot resist any bending moment hence bending moment is zero everywhere so bending is not resisted by cable and therefore we assume that bending moment is zero everywhere so when you are talking about the arch basically it is a compression member but it is often subjected to bending moment and shear force of small magnitude so then there is a um, some magnitude of bending moment and shear force but it is in very low magnitude so that is the difference comparison between the cable and the arches 
So when you are talking about the different types of arch, first we talk about the three hinge arch. So three hinge arch is this is uh, hinge support, this is hinge support, and there is an internal hinge over here. So this type of arch is known as a three hinge arch, and this type of structure is a determinate structure. So three hinge arch, a three hinge arch is a statically determinate structure because the number of reaction in this support is two and two here. So degree of static indeterminacy will be equal to 4 minus 3 and there is an internal hinge also there. So 4 minus 3 minus 1. So degree of static indeterminacy is 0 in that case. So this structure is a determinate structure. So a 3 hinge arch is a statically determinate structure. So therefore 4 unknown reactions and 3 equations of equilibrium and one extra condition of equilibrium is here that is mc equal to 0 that is moment at c is equal to 0 at internal hinge. So we have 4 equations and four unknown equations so therefore the structure is determined and when you are talking about two hinge r there is no internal hinge provided so this is an indeterminate structure of first degree because the equation will be four minus three here and it will be equal to one and that means it, this structure is indeterminate structure there are four unknown reactions and only three equation of equilibrium available so that type of structure is known as two hinge r and when you are talking about the fixed arms Fixed arch. So fixed arch will arch in which supports will be fixed. Fixed so that means there are three reactions here and three reactions. That means the degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 6 minus 3 that is 3. So it will be indeterminate structure to third degree. So here the fixed arch is statically indeterminate structure to third degree. There are six unknown reactions and only three equations of equilibrium are available. So when you are talking about the comparison between the behavior of an arch and a beam, so when you are dealing with an arch, so first of all, suppose here is this arch, okay, I am making this arch and let it be this support is in support and here also in support, okay, so this is the span here, so let this point will be distance here l y to here l y to here and one load is acting that is p here okay and this rises h okay and here you can easily calculate for the beam case let this will be the beam here one in support here one in support here so you can easily calculate the reaction that is r a here r b here okay so R A and R B equal to P by 2 because it is a symmetrical structure here. So when you have this equation, or you can find it by using the equilibrium theory, summation f x equal to 0, summation f y equal to 0, and moment about a point or other support is 0. So you will easily get the value of the unknown reactions here. Okay. So I have found the reaction now when you are talking about the moment at x point here let it be the distance x here and similarly the x distance in a beam so moment equation for the beam will be you can see p by 2 is the reaction so when you are calculating the moment at x point you have to put your hand here and see the equation from left hand side when you are seeing so the you, you will be able to see that p by 2 will be producing a moment and clockwise moment that is p by 2 into force into perpendicular distance p by 2 into x that is moment at x in case of a beam and when you are talking about the case of an arch you will see the equation moment at x will be equal to p by 2 is the vertical reaction and distance for this uh, equation is uh, x so p by 2 into x and you will see there is one horizontal reaction that is here that because this is a curved structure, there will be a perpendicular distance for this force also. So that means this will produce an other type of moment that is anti-clockwise moment. That means it will be minus H A into this distance. That is, let it be Y here. So H A into Y. So this is the moment that is neglected with p by 2 into x so p by 2 into x is the moment in the beam that is the moment of the beam and minus h a into y will give you the 
moment in an hour. So this is how I was telling you in the in this definition we have written that arches can reduce the bending moment. So how it is reducing the bending moment by the horizontal reaction because the horizontal reactions come into play into the and you are talking about the arch. So for the above analysis it is clear that the bending moment at any section in the arch is smaller than that of the beam by an amount of horizontal reaction into the rise of at that point we are talking okay so i hope this point is clear now advantages of arches over p so what are the advantages for same loading you have seen that we have applied a point load p in beam and same load in an arch so for the same loading and same span the bending moment in an R section is smaller than the bending moment in the beam section at same location okay so for long span arches section are cheaper when you are talking about the long span so in that case that point arches are cheaper to thinner cross section needed or less bending moment however for small span beam can be an advantage okay when you are talking about long span beam long spans so in that case you will be providing an arch and when you are talking about the small spans their beam is advantage so what are the disadvantages of arches over beam so disadvantages of an arch are arches are difficult to construct because of the curves okay so it is not easy to construct an arch so because of its curves so you have to uh, you will be requiring a skill labor for that for making an arch okay in multi story building arches provide constraint to height so aesthetically arches less prefer so when you are uh, making any multi story building there arches does not provide any aesthetic use to the building so that is why we oh, this is the disadvantage of an arch in the case of multi story building okay so we are seeing the aesthetic part of it so that is the case where the arches are the disadvantage of these arches over the beams when you are talking about arches and beams so i hope you are you are clear with the concept behind the arches what is the difference comparison between cable and arches what type of arches we are using and by how much the moment is reduced in an arches and why we prefer the arches in case of long spans because to reduce the bending moment in the structure so thank you very much